There's a race in the East Bay in the 11th Congressional District that's just incredible. David Harmer is the Republican. He's challenging Jerry McNerney, the two-term incumbent, for this particular seat. And David Harmer joins us on the program right now. Good morning, Mr. Harmer. How are you, sir? Doing great. Good morning to you, Brian. I have never seen the kind of slime being thrown about that I'm seeing from Jerry McNerney's camp. The stuff he's saying about you, David Harmer, is just it's beyond outlandish, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's funny. And honestly, the more desperate his attacks get, the higher our spirits get. You know the saying, first they ignore you, then they make fun of you, then they fight you, and then you win. And uh, we're in stage three right now, but well on our way to stage four. This guy, at Jerry McNerney, the incumbent, he, he's actually telling his people, his followers, his potential voters, that you actually want to abolish the public school system. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, that would come as a big surprise to the four Harmer kids, Madison, Jonas, Ariel, and Ben, who've attended public schools <laughs> consistently from kindergarten to <laughs> present day, and our oldest is in high school. It would come as a big surprise to Mrs. Harmer, who is a substitute teacher in the San Ramon Valley Unified School District. It would come as a big surprise to my peers. I'm in my third year as an officer on the education fund for our local middle school. We have raised, over my tenure, hundreds of thousands of dollars to support our local public school. Um, but here's where the charge comes from. I'm a fan of great education, however and by whomever delivered. That includes home schools, it includes parochial schools, it includes independent schools, and it includes public schools if they're doing the job. But I have argued that schools don't exist just to exist, and they don't exist to employ bureaucrats and teachers. They exist to teach, and if they don't teach, they shouldn't exist, and I make no apologies for that. But to go from that to saying I want to erase the public schools is a pretty big leap. It's just incredible. So, again, you have four kids in public school, your wife substitute teaches, you're on, you're on a fundraising school board. And he's, it's, it is, it's laughable, but you're right. But again, Brian, you know, I mean, who thinks that the big issue in congressional race uh, is, is public schools? Look, the big issues are our economy is stagnant, people are hurting, where are the jobs? And by the way, congressional spending is out of control. Those are the issues that people want to talk about, and those are the issues we have been talking about. And the more desperate Jerry gets with these character assaults and these silly attacks, I just think the more foolish he looks. I really don't think the people are going to buy it. No, I don't think they are. And I'm looking at their latest polling, and I know you're a guy who says, "Hey, we can't, can't, can't go to the, uh, can't go up to the finish line just yet. Uh, there's still a couple weeks to go." But the latest polling, David Harmer, is looking pretty good for you guys. Well, it's it's great news, and, and it's accurate. The uh, the latest independent poll, meaning neither campaign had anything to do with it came out last week from Channel 5, and this is a big sample. It's 624 likely voters. It had us up six, 48% David Harmer, 42% Jerry McNerney. And uh, for those of you who want to help us uh, sustain and extend that lead, please visit my website, harmerforcongress.com. That's H-A-R-M-E-R-F-O-R, congress.com. Okay, now, you're a guy who understands the bottom line really well. McNerney is saying, I, I, I saw this broadside that he sent out, and the mailers that they're sending out are just incredible. It's one after another to the district. And, and these are flashy. They're slick. They're on high-quality, high-gloss paper. But one says, you're a Wall Street banker. I'm thinking, okay, as, as long as I've known about you, you've never lived in New York City. Uh, well, no, the closest I got to Wall Street was Pleasanton, California. So uh, they're about four time zones off. <laughs> Um, it is true that I, once upon a time, uh, as an attorney, worked for a bank, but it was a retail bank, you know, serving consumers here in the West. I've never had anything to do with investment banking or commercial banking, and certainly not with Wall Street. Well, you've probably got a 401k, and those people are knee-deep <laughs> in Wall Street. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's just funny to see Jerry cycling through these attacks. They'll try one for a few days, and when... You know, it kind of collides with the reality, or it's so over the top that nobody believes it. They'll move on to the next one. But, uh, you know, again, I I don't think we even responded to that one just because it was, I mean, you know, there was nothing to it. 
It's kooky. David Harmer's with us. He's running for Congress in Congressional District 11. David, when we return, let's talk about some of the other great congressional candidates in the Bay Area. And then let's talk specifically about this budget deficit in Washington, D.C., and the $3 trillion of new debt that's been racked up over the last couple of years. We'll do that with David Harmer on KSFO. You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. David Harmer is running for Congress in the East Bay against Jerry McNerney. It's the 11th congressional district. Uh, David, it's just so exciting to see some of these other congressional races around the Bay Area, and their battle is even more uphill than yours in the sense that there is such a high number of registered Democrats as opposed to Republicans, whereas in CD11, it's almost evenly split, isn't it? It is. And listen, my hat's off to people like uh, John Dennis and Rick Tubbs, who are running great races in tough districts. Uh, they deserve our support and, uh, you know, give them every good wish. Yes, there are some great. And, you know, another gentleman that we've talked a lot about, uh, Rick uh, Tubbs. Yes. Um, we also have uh, uh, Lauren Hanks, uh, Steve Kirkland. These are just wonderful guys who are really, really making a go at it. And you have to be encouraged. No question great candidates and doing a great job, and I wish them well. The fact is, though, the 11th Congressional District is the only district in the Bay Area that is truly a swing district. Um, if we're able to pick up a seat, you know, mm -hmm. this is the first one to go. Registration is evenly split, about 39% Republican and 39% Democrat. So it's our best chance to knock off an incumbent Democrat and send a signal to Nancy Pelosi. Absolutely. And this can be verified by this. Nancy Pelosi snapped her fingers and at least $2 million, best I can calculate, has come into that district from the Democrats to prop up Jerry McNerney. Now, that's a lot of money. $2 million to fend off you. That's a big deal. Well, it's a great sign that they're worried, and we're going to make them spend it all, Brian. But, uh, Good. They, uh, the, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has $1.5 million in TV time reserved for attack ads against me over the next two weeks alone. Wow. So in addition to what they've already pumped in, we've got $1.5 million coming. Um, They're they spending been, a lot of money to retain this seat. They are. And again, that, that's good news for us. You know, that's the clearest signal that they know that one of their most reliable incumbents is in trouble. Look, you know, they wouldn't care if McNerney weren't such a reliable vote for the majority, but... You name the bad idea from the Obama-Pelosi agenda, he's supported it from the get-go. The, the bailouts, the so-called stimulus, cap-and-trade, uh, Obamacare, he was a yes vote on all of it. He is a Pelosi puppet. Um, we would have gotten the same results by giving Nancy Pelosi a proxy vote. Right. For this <laughs> That's true. Now, David Harbour, what's interesting, ever since we started hearing about this Republican you know, pickup in the House, this seat has always been one they've been talking about, the seat you're running for. And and that's why this is exciting. People realize that the Democrats are going to throw everything in the kitchen sink into this race to re try to retain it. Uh, and, and therefore, you need the help. You need help from people to make sure that we can win this one and steal it away from Nancy Pelosi and crew, right? Urgently. Listen, we need every KSFO listener to go for har go to harmerforcongress.com. And pitch a little something into the Treasury. Uh, federal law allows you to give up to $2,400, and I would ask you to seriously consider making that kind of investment in our freedom. But well, especially of any amount are David, welcome or gratefully accepted, and we'll put them to good use. David, especially when you see these absolutely slimy, horrendous attack mailers that they're sending out. Folks, if you, if you were to see one of these, you would whip out the checkbook immediately and say, okay, I'm helping this guy out. This is beyond the pale. Again, it's harmerforcongress.com. David, thank you very much for your time this morning. Brian O.B., always a pleasure. All right. Great having good. you.